Vulgar Fractions deals with seven unique state intersections along Nebraska's border. Some people are curious as to why I chose Nebraska for a film about borders, and the reasoning has to do with the history of its boundary and its uniqueness, but also its similarity to many other western states. It has both latitudinally derived, or more arbitrary boundaries, as well as a natural line which is dictated by a river. The state had some of the first acreage settled through the Homestead Act, and that document was important in helping to shape the West not only physically but ideologically, as well as promoting free soil policy. Nebraska also has an important marker that was utilized to draw more boundaries of neighboring states. The film has roughly seven parts, each of the parts correlated to one state intersection along Nebraska. So it begins with the Colorado, Kansas, and Nebraska intersection, and the rest of the film follows the junctions clockwise until we end up at the last intersection of Missouri, Kansas, and Nebraska. I've included two photographs from this film for the show, as well as many others selected from the other videos. All of these pictures are the actual shots that were used in constructing the works. And more than just showing that each of these were a part of the videos, I've tried to select certain photos as a type of key to gaining context within the films. For vulgar fractions, I've chosen a picture of the Colorado-Nebraska boundary marker, as well as a sextant, which is a device that helps determine the angle between two objects. The sextant was important to surveying the west and was one of the ways people calculated latitude, as well as figuring out Greenwich time and thus longitude while exploring the United States. You'll see references to this in the film with a universal time transmission that was captured over shortwave radio. These sounds are played over images of the sky. <laughs> 